Hello and welcome everyone. I am C.S. Gilmore and this is Templar Balfours. Now real quick before I jump in here, um, there was a little video after I pushed accept and I attacked that on to the end of the last episode. So if you missed that, go back, watch the very end of the last episode. I tacked that on there. I just made that call after I continued with on and had that video there. Anyway, some very interesting stuff in that video. That was cool. Seems Tarquin is up to his old tricks again. Now we get to run into the reactor core and figure out what's going on there. I'm not sure how many more missions this this uh, has. Five nights, 18 turns. Let's go find out what's going on. The deck heaves and strains now. The death knells of the Stratos can be heard constantly, and now we know the source of the instability. Shulgaras came here with a purpose. They came to gain control of a void reactor, and to use its power for some nefarious xenobiological experiment. Captain, my sensor key is pinging off the register. It all seems focused around three massive xenoform south of our position. Has anyone seen this xenobiology before? Look deep into your lineages, Templars. Nothing, Captain. Never, Captain. Then perhaps Shulgaras has created something new, a true abomination. The closest thing we have on record is the Lich Xenoform that Shulgaroth created in the basement of the Drain Palace. There too, they needed an immense power source for their experiments. They hooked into the city's grid. Even when the waters of our collective memories are murky and provide no answers, one thing is clear as day. Our duty. Let that guide our hands, Templars. We must destroy these abominations. Captain, the Strauss isn't going to hold together much longer. The station's destruction is sure to do our work for us. No, Sergeant. We defeated, we defeated the Narvidian hive mind, but Shulgaroth escaped us. They have come back tw again twice as dangerous. We cannot risk this. We must see our duty done this day. Scout, give us your reading. Each of the massive Xenoform is inhabiting a tactical point. They will be able to produce defensive Xenoform in huge numbers, Captain. Only an engineer will be able to purge them by taking the tactical points. Those are Funky looking. They are each built into one of the major power conduits of the void reactor, wired directly into the source. Sucking power, probably mutating their genetics further. This tactical point can be our launching point. Rally together Templars, we have a hard fight ahead of us. The station is already starting to collapse from the inside. Fires are spreading across many of the decks, Captain. Yes, we can see that here as well, Kathos. We'll be careful and move quickly. We must destroy all three Xeno attacked points. The Stratos is coming apart. We will need to rush through or go around any flames that block our path. So, basically they created a super tactical point infestation. Oh, look at that. That is funky. Zero control tactical point, 10 hit points. All right, I'm gonna go want both my engineers for this one. But I'll do that by, let's see, you run down here. And capture it. This northern tactical point will give us a commanding position from which to assault the core. All right. Now, veterans, bring in my other engineer. Where are you? You are here. I saw you. Where did you go? There you are. Recruit. Oh, forgot squad cap. Anyway, okay, maybe I will just switch out for him then. Engineer, sweet. I was just going to summon him so that he'd be up here already, but eh, I can run forward, I guess. All right, which one first? Which one first? Looks like they're going to make things difficult for me, one way or the other. Might as well go right down the middle, it looks like. Okay, so there's a salt path there. Wait, is this bridge gone? Oh, that bridge is gone. I guess I will have to go down the side. Go to the right then. Swap you out for... Ooh, my Hydra. No, I'm gonna have enough fire already. My Neptune. Or, should I go with... Ugh, choices. Yeah, Neptune. My captain will take the lead, and so that'll work. Is 
Sounds like the spawn points are already getting busy. Yep, yep, yep. Let's move, people. No time like the present. Got a log round to cover. Not enough time. Hopefully this bridge is intact or otherwise this would suck. I'm bringing both my engineers along because that way I can give the Xeno at least a bit of a fight. If you know what I mean, I can get like I can get in there and really purge the place quickly. Alright, that's a bunch of empty space. Can't tell if that path's open or not. Next turn I'll bring in a paladin. That way I'll have a healer with me to tag along and keep everyone alive. Good. Oh, no, no, no. Veterans. There we go. Paladin. Recruit. Get over here. Alright, making progress. They're gonna make me go all the way around, it looks like. Put a guard over there. I'm not gonna worry about holding the tactical point. I mean, I don't. It's not gonna do me much good to leave stuff behind there right now. So, onward we go. There's a lot of enemies already. They are certainly gonna make my job difficult. Okay, keep up. Yes, okay, here seems to be the path. It'll connect here and I can go right in. Move it, people, move it, move it, move it now. Guard there, because that seems like a spawn point. All right. Got a cup, bit of company coming my way. Okay, you're all moved. Nothing else I can do. Except for save up requisition and hope I don't need it. Uh, save up supply points, that is. And yeah, hope I don't need it to handle anything. There's going to be a whole lot of enemies coming from these other two while I take out one of them. Uh, including a lich. Some siege glass. They got everything. We are closing in on the Stratos core and the abominations that Shulgrath created here. Beware for the Xeno will dig in and fight hard to protect their precious tactical points. Yes, they will. Which means I need you to start hitting the broadside of a barn. I mean, it's a giant monster. Hard to miss. Good, that's better. Yeah. Paladin is really needing to s move it along. Is he like limited on, is he only moving five points at a time? Maybe I, well, I don't know. I have to pay attention to his movement points abilities. He may be moving at full speed and I'm just, I don't know. But it feels like he's falling further and further behind. Okay, so that's there. There's another path down south here. Question is, what am I supposed to do? Probably these aren't. No, maybe these are connected. I can't tell. Too far out to tell. Kill that one. Father, I think these enemies are getting more shielded too. Because they definitely seem to be taking some hits. Good. Okay, good. 
wrong way. You come on down here. And give me an idea of what I'm looking at here. Alright, maybe there is a connection between all the places. If so, that could be useful. I may be able to get in without a bunch of difficulty and just take out all three of them real quick. But it seems... Okay, no, he has six movements, so he just is really far behind. Well, anyway, hopefully he'll be able to do some good. Hi. You popped him right in front. Ah, oh, man. Definitely an interesting setup. Uh, okay, I see you over there. I did give you a surprise. How about that? Upgrade. Flame turret cannon defenses. Bye. Yeah. Now I'll keep hitting it. We'll see how you like it. Actually, I probably that won't hold up very well against that thing. But anyway, I'll give it some bonus hit points on the next turn. In the meantime, you guys get in here. Take this thing out. We have purged the eastern tactical point of this new Xenoform. Shogaros plays with forces beyond their control, and it has cost thousands of lives here on the Stratos. We will make that bastard Tarquin pay. Hop in another one. one of my own. Drop a turret, just to help hold the place. So far, so good. Oh, it is a cutoff. Bother. Okay, so I have to go the long way around. So that's why there's a southern path. Alright. Let's keep going, guys. No time to waste. The paladin's caught up at least this way. More or less. Alright. Oh, I can see you there. Well, I f it makes sense that that would be blocked off. I mean, what was the likelihood they were really going to make it that easy for me? Not that high. It does fit the design, I guess, of them being built around the core. At the same time, though, this is going to take me a bit longer now to get everyone over there. Keep running, guys. No time to waste. Come on down. Patch them up a bit. They've been taking a little bit of damage, I think, from heat. What's this? Damnation, curse the Shulgaroth. There is another security cannon holding this path to the tactical point. We must either directly siege the cannon or try to go around it. With ra six range, the cannon controls the quickest path to the tactical point, but we could go around and avoid it completely. Yeah, there's a lot of Xeno there, too. Um... So going around would involve going down and up and around. That'd be tricky. I think I'll be better just forcing my way past it. But I'm gonna have to take out some of these Xeno forces that are pouring in on me first because that's a lot of resistance. I should have given my one tactical point some hit points. Too late now. Hopefully it won't get destroyed. Come on. Alright. Enemies. What you doing? All pouring towards me. Okay. Upgrade. I'll just give it 15. It's going to be on its own against a resistant enemy, so good. 
you come on overwatch here doesn't really matter that I hold on to the tactical points they're not an objective but it will be useful in some regards all right shoot that one and overwatch you shoot that one Lich is the nastiest of them all. I want it dead. We gotta group up and all charge past the cannon at once. If I go as a big group, it'll be the best way to avoid one person just getting focused on by the cannon and taken out. Plus, I'm gonna need that much firepower to take out the Xeno and clear my path enough to run past without being overwhelmed. Yeah, come on, bring it. Run right into that zone of fire. That has a lot of enemy movement I'm not seeing, though. Um, or if it would have been a better tactic to split up my engineers, go one for each one. But at the same time, I'm not sure if that will have worked. What is that? Oh, that's fire over there. Okay, I was wondering what that red glow on the edge was. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if it will have worked to have split my guys. Because the enemy forces are concentrated enough, it would probably have been problematic. Alright, you've moved. You can get up there. your defense. You need to catch up. Good, that did a lot of damage. Where is it? Is that everyone just moved? You can move forward two more. Okay. And turn. Let's see how this goes. Good charging. Expected. Alright. That seems to have been the primary force of the heavy hitters. I've still got some, like, not that these the other ones aren't going to be a problem, but, yeah. Looks like I'm making that run. Run forward, everyone. Time to get through there. That turret isn't going to shoot us until we get close enough, and we gotta get close enough to get back. We need to get past. We aren't getting past it without being shot. Alright, you should move your off a little further along probably. Good. And you here as well. Patch them up because he was hurt a bit. I'm dying on me. Okay, everyone's else is good. Do as much moving as I can. Just get out there. Okay, so far so good. Bird's gonna take an issue with me. Apparently he doesn't like my engineers. I can deal with that. The biggest problem is gonna be if another Xeno force happens to arrive right now and block my path. Okay, one Goliath I can deal with. Oh, there's some second there's a secondary objective there. Turret. Two 
put up a guard there for that one. Shoot that. You keep moving. You get over there. And which can heal that. Okay. Okay, taking a bit of work to get past this turret, but I'm making progress. I'll be able to grab that with my uh, secondary objective with my scout on the way by, I think. Yeah, pick a fight with my, with my uh, paladin. That's good. Close range combat. Not the strong suit of turrets, generally, as I understand it. Okay, this is going to be the tough part. Hit it again. Take it out. It is dead. Finally, the constant stream of new Xeno will halt. You don't let your guard down, Templar. Whatever that new Xenobiology is, it required an immense amount of power. That must be the reason that Shulgroth targeted the Stratos. Somewhere they could isolate a massive reactor without being interrupted. Whatever devil's work they have done here, the reactor won't hold up much longer. Alright, so making progress. One more to go. Thanks, Shulun, for this gift. These abandoned supplies will help us defeat the Shulgroth plot. We have recovered a commander's deployment ordinance and two assault overflow kit ordinance. That's a lot. What does that give me? So damage buff and I think they'll increase the duration of my buffs. Okay, nice. Okay, you can't do anything else there. You run in here. Good, good, good. So, this approach seems to work. Just avoid the turrets. They're not worth the, the time and effort. Just treat them like... Yeah, well, turrets. They're stationary. They can't chase you. Deal with the stuff that is the actual threat, which would be the spawners. Alright, next turn I'll be able to capture that. I'm surprised this one didn't get attacked. I thought I was going to, but... Uh, okay. So that's there. Gotta get up to that last one. And it is heavily guarded. Look at that force. There's some more stuff up there. Where's my Hydra? Actually, where is my Hydra? Did my Hydra die? Maybe my Hydra died. I wasn't paying attention. Or did I not summon my head? Oh, there's my head. Okay. Did I not summon my Hydra? Really? Oh, yes, I didn't because I was worried about the blocking my own path. That's right. Okay. Well, I'm going to summon my Hydra next, I think, because that force is going to need a lot of burning. Threw me off there. I'm so used to having my Hydra every time I go into a battle. It was weird not to have it. Alright, they're gonna blow up my turret. As we expected. Yeah, you can chase up behind me all you want. Right? Just don't get in my way. Alright. There'll probably gonna be a turret on the other side. Probably. Which means I'll have another one to dodge around, but I'll do with that as it comes. Come around to this end. Capture it. You, veteran. Hydra. Recruit. Guess who's getting a fiery welcome? You guys! Boom! More boom! Good, good. Okay, moving. Keep moving. All my characters are getting really overheated though, so I may have problems with them shutting down soon. That could be 
a bit of an issue. That's the one I wanted to heal. Um, I'm close. Very close. So, I'm not going to let this stop. Enter. Decided to go up after that one now, have you? Alright, I think I've got some leftover requisition points, so maybe I'll buff up my point, my tactical spots a little bit. Cause some mayhem for them. You're all getting burned. This is our, you're gonna get burned next semester. Uh, not semester, no. I'm still thinking college trips. You're all getting burned next term. Hydra's gonna have to some fun with you. Yes, he is. Look at this all! Boom! So much fun. One of you survived. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I've got enough here. Upgrade. Buy. And upgrade. Flame cannon defenses. I like the flame cannon defenses, really. They seem to be rather effective. Okay, keep moving. And I'll put that there because there's probably going to be some guys visiting from that direction. End turn. Can't really get everyone through, and might as well just have a couple of them cool down. Come on. I'm waiting. I should have used that. Trick. Not bad. Too late now. If they destroy the tack points, no big deal. Alrighty. I killed a bunch of them. Upgrade. Let's give you. Still, let's give you turret defense. Sweet. Moving now. I thought so. Curse Shulgaroth and their medley. There is another sentry cannon defending the tacti tactical point. Let's either assault the cannon or try to go around it. Yep. Standard. Basics. Got it. Paladin. Go say hi to that. Zeno before it spits more Xeno at me. Looks like I'll have to go right past it. But I can deal with that. That I can handle. All units, move into place. Use this ability. That should make things a little more effective in some regards. I didn't use that as effectively as I could have. And you, you need to catch up, because we're leaving. You heal up as many people as you can. Good. Awesome. Well, guys, this is it. I think this is the last mission of this battle. Um, like I mentioned in the when I made that choice, it was like, the other one will help you, like, they'll change the effects of, of how this ends. Kinda. And so, like, how this last battle will go. I think this is that last battle, and so I've got that difference there in that the turrets are still online. If I had done the other one, the turrets would have been offline, because I would have turned them off. Okay. Move forward. Pop the turret. That. You. Run forward. Heal yourself. Good. You run forward. Shoot some Zeta. Perfect. Get one in the back that I can't reach with the others. 
to come up this way. You come on up this way. And I don't want you to cook that whole area. Hydra, so yeah. Okay, that's about as good as I can get with this, it looks like. Might as well do some damage to this just for the heck of it. That's everyone out of there. Seems moving along pretty quick. They've given up on that thing. Alright, that thing's got a ton of forces though. Looks like they're starting to head my direction through that funnel. So that is the hard part with this. The yeah, they do build up a ton of units. They, like they weren't kidding when they said these things will spawn a ton of creatures. And they're right. This is spawning so many things. And it looks like with the design of the map, they worked the map very carefully. I think to work with the AI to create those pockets of enemies. Because I hit one side. And at least on those two side areas, yeah, the enemies just pocket in there because they can't get me on when I'm opposite them. And everything. And just very interesting, well thought out for the design. For the design. Yeah. Okay. Well, he'll be back up next turn, I guess. No, 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 no rain pass. That way, should have been more careful about that. Alright, I may have to take a turn or two just to cool my guys down. Because they're overheating really badly. I mean, he had his reactor shut down on him. So, yeah, I may have to take a turn or two just to cool people down enough to function. Oh, that did more damage than I expected. Oops. Well, that sucked. My bad. I was too careless. Rush forward. Whew. I think that's why they give you as many turns as they do so in these missions, just so you can cool your guys down. Um. I'm just not doing it. Okay, my Hydra's not really overheating. We're good. You need to step outside of the fire. You're in range. I'll get you cut, cut around here. Captain could use some healing, and he's important because he's my captain. Alright, end turn. Here comes the main Xeno force. I just hope I can fight my way through. I've got most of my grenades still, I think on my captain, so that will help. Combined with the Hydra's area attack. Yeah, I think I can burn my way through them if I have to. You are getting on my nerves, guys. Reactor over there. Great. Well, Captain, you need to get up there and start punching things. Paladin's not going to be much use. Good. Still making progress, just not as well as I would like. 
because overheating is now becoming a major problem and my guys don't have enough uh, everything to heal. But I've got both my engineers, I've got my captain, I've got my hydra, I've got everyone I need to really make this work. It's just a matter of making it happen. I'm gonna lose that tactical point pretty quick here probably. Whoa, where'd all their forces go? Are they really funneling out that well? I guess so. Hi, guys. Yeah, you guys were all coming out to meet me. Now you get to burn. In a disco inferno. Nice, the disco. You just get to burn. Use the last heal on. And step back. Hold the line. Can't hit anyone. Oh, I guess I can't hit Siege there. Oops. I see you, little Siege Goliath, hiding in the uh, fire there. You could do that. Spitter's gonna be the threat, so I want it dead. Almost there. I'm so close. Siege Goliath is just sucking up it. Damage them. Alright, if I move my last step, I'm gonna reach it. It's not pretty. Oh, that paid off even better because there was no one behind me. Well, there still is someone behind me. Okay. <sighs> Doing everything I can. Taking out their primary forces because they funneled out a little ineffectively. Uh, I mean, it worked better to avoid a group hit from my guys, but at the same time, they followed so out ineffectively enough that I was able to tear them up as they came. More or less, so... Ups and downs. The hard part now is I have to get through my own fire. And it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon, because... It's pretty persistent. Lightly armored to withstand the fire very well. Any enemies hiding in the fire that I can't see? I don't see any right off. You're too hurt to go through the fire, that's for sure. And even my guy's probably not going to want to jump directly through. Okay, there we go. Use that ability. I'm going to get this done. I am going to win this. Before I quit, you're shut down. Ah, uh, man. Another long episode. I really didn't think this would take that long considering the turn length. Uh, turn goal or whatever it was. But this is turning out to be a little more. I think I've gone over my turn goal by a bit. Turn goal 18, I'm at turn 23. Yeah, so I didn't do so hot on this. I think I maybe should have split up it and kind of taken out both of those at once. Okay, get in here. Kill them. That's all that. Duck. You have to get through. Don't die. Alright, I have a way to work this. Ordnance. Let's bring in Meditech. I think I have a better Meditech than this one. No, maybe not. Let's buy two. Buy two, they're small, and I've got a ton of stuff to go around. 
use Meditech. Okay, you're healed. You. Use Meditech. Gotta keep my engineers alive. That's priority number one. You need to die. Might as well just keep moving and get out of the fire since you seem to be handling it pretty well. As would be expected considering you're a f uh, Hydra. You're awake now. And functioning. Tell take that out. Okay. I'm so close to finishing and yet it's so far. You came in behind me. At least I don't think it's gonna go this turn, it's just spawning. So I should be able to kill it before it does any damage. Much, but I might be able to do something. You have that. Take that out. Okay. Hydra. Get in there and these guys. Not quite as much ending as I was hoping. This is to be expected. Finish what you started. Alright, good. Enter. So close to capturing, I, I'm so close to losing some guys too that I really need to not lose. The engineer, the the engineers are both pretty beat up, but I'm glad I was able to buy those meditechs. That saved me basically. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. Just to kill you. Good. Take this thing out. Done. You've destroyed the abomination. Whatever evil alchemy Shalgaroth created here. That infestation of the tactical point was able to spawn new Xenobioforms at an unbelievable rate. Stand true, Templars. Burn this day into the memory of your lineages. This day we have faced a new threat, a new type of Xenoform created by the evil mastermind of Shalgaroth. Captain, you've got to get to the extraction point. The Stratos is coming apart. I can't keep the Spear Cutter close much longer. It is our duty to pass these memories on to those who will come after us, to our children. Form up, we must cut our way free of this collapsing hulk. In other words, time to leave. As the Stratos orbital imploded around us, we fled. Blessed <coughs> be Shaloon for gifty as people with the mighty armor of the Leviathans. We cut our way through a breach in a bulkhead and were able to reach the outer hull without using the elevator. No, it would have been a death trap in the final moments of the great orbital station. Cathos and his pilot risked their lives to get close enough to extract our battle force, but Shaloon favors the brave. Okay, I am so sorry that took so long. Way longer than it should have. In some ways, I guess I did took a very ineffective route of do handling it. But anyway, it worked. Got through it. Whew. I don't know if there's any more to this or not. So I'm going to end this episode here. If there's more video, I'll probably tack it on to the end of this. I don't know what it sounds like this is a con good continue though like there, there's gonna be more here so i don't know what to expect very interested to see what happens is this gonna be like whole another campaign just about or what mini campaign feels like there's gonna be more here though um right now i'm just gonna press on with this i'm not gonna worry about replaying and going through that other option i may not even go and do that at all i hope you don't mind if i don't Depends on how so this plays out. If this is the end of it, then I'll replay and I'll go through and get to that one and show you that episode. If this continues on, I'm continuing on. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Alright, looks like there is something. Wreck of the Stratos Orbital. 
Gentle is the same for Grace. Yep, okay, that's the same. Returning to our quadrant. The Stratos did not last. The Void Reactor had completely broken its banks. The sign of faction unity within the quadrant has been destroyed. And once again, the Shadow of Shalgaroth looms large. This news will send tremors through the faction leadership. They will fear another Kerm, another Maclomnia Prime. But we bear a great beacon of hope with us, Mariel Thrall. How many times will she, will she stand against Shelgroth and find a way to defeat them? The Quadrant will gain strength, something you can read in the video, because I can't read it fast enough. This isn't over. No Tarquin has left a new trail to follow. Mariel was able to identify the four traitors who helped Shelgroth take the orbital without a fight. There is a new scent to follow, and every Templar and bounty hunter in the Quadrant will be on it. When we find him, Tarquin will pay for his crimes. Judgment will be short and merciless, but sweet. Oh yeah. Okay. Righteous Fallen Aftermath. Secure zone, everything. Whew. Well, it's a secure zone. I guess I'll just deploy and check this out real quick. It's gonna be attack. It's, this last episode's gonna be a long one because I'm attacking this on there, but I don't know what to expect here. If it's gonna continue on or this is gonna be the end end. So yeah, I wanna wrap that up. What does the engineering corps think Shulgaroth is trying to do? It is hard to say as the evidence was immediately and righteously destroyed. However, the engineers are working individually with each member of your battle force to tease as much as possible from their lineage memories. They will approach you for an interview soon, I am sure. If we can gather enough details, they may be able to piece it together. Any early theories? The biggest lead is a requirement for a power source. Shulgaroth has twice now grown xenobioforms from a powerful flow of electricity. There is a theory circulating that they are trying to find a way to use electricity to control the xeno to become their master. It sounds like a very plausible plot of a xeno cult. Absolutely insane. All right, nice and short. So this will may make still make a decent tack on without being extra long. Uh, what is the status of Maclumnia Prime reclamation? It has been six years since Maclumnia Prime was invaded by the Teroxino. Honestly, for all the work we have done, I am not sure we are any closer to making the planet habitable again. The Terox spore pods burrowed deep and spread. Of course, the factions don't have the army to engage the Xeno on the ground, nor do we. Prince Damien Lemoth of Maclomnia is just wrapping up a one-year intensive surface bombing campaign. I will lead the Templar engineer team who will conduct a low flyovers of the plant surface to establish what kind of damage we were able to do. I am not sure it will have done much. It doesn't help that Reichardt is in the wings, constantly pushing to, bombar to bombard the world from orbit. The Maclomnia take it as a personal insult. And the Reichardt claim it is the best for everyone's safety, which perhaps it is. If the surface bombing has failed, then the Reichardt proposal will gain steam in the Council. It will come to pass. We were lucky to find Mariel, Thrall, uh, Mariel on the Stratos before it collapsed. I was overjoyed to hear that she was aboard your spear cutter. If she, she is a survivor. She has proved it time and time again. If this time of turmoil, her, in this time of turmoil, her leadership and strength of character is something that can help calm the factions. They owe her so much, and their people listen when she speaks. And therefore, the princes must listen. Okay, so this sounds like it's going to continue. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, replay the replay option. Uh, have, how have the factions taken the loss of the Stratos? Factions are always looking for something to argue over. This has been a great new piece in their political game. Rykar is renewing calls to bombard the infested Maclomnia Prime from orbit, claiming that Shelgroth could be hiding their leadership there. Is it possible? Doubtful. The planet has been on strict quarantine now to prevent smugglers and star traders from trying to pick over its bones. Needless to say, it has stirred the pot of political unrest. Do we have any tra additional leads on Tarquin? Not yet, but it is only a matter of time now. The identities of the traders on the Strauss, that information will be key in tracking down the Shelgroth. They've made a mistake this time. Those men have families, friends, and lives before they went to the Stratos. Each of them was transferred out there less than a year ago. So we have fresh leads this time. Blood in the water, you could say. We've thrown a few of the leads to our most reputable bounty hunters who may be able to sniff out more as well. I'd like to be there to gut him myself, but I understand you'd be ahead of me in that line. 
Haha, <laughs> yes, that would be a long line. His day will come. Okay, everyone, this looks like it wraps up that extra deployment. I can't replay it from this campaign, so I'd have to get to the end of the last campaign, it looks like, with my old campaign. And, oh, it was my second campaign. Then go through it and choose the other options. And that's a lot of work. It would take a lot of time. I'm not really willing to put that in right now. So, for now, it sounds like they could add more on to this at some point. I mean, this sounds like a potential continuation for another deploy a bonus deployment. And they have been upgrading, updating the game, like I've said. Like, new faces and everything. So maybe sometimes, someday they'll put in more onto this. I'll come back to it. But for the time being, it looks like this is the end. I'm going to call this the end of this video series for the time being for my play of this game. It's been awesome. It's been great. This is an awesome game. Definitely play it. Buy it, play it, support the developers. Check out their sites. Just and check out some of their other games. I mean, if they're putting this much work into this game, they, I have little doubt that they're putting just as much work into all of their other games, which is probably why this one, like, I don't know, just everything's working together. They're building a ton on this universe. This may be the new Warhammer 4000, uh, 40k. Not 4000, 40k. Yeah. Uh, this may be the new Warhammer, in my opinion. I mean, this game is quality. And it has the potential to have so... And with all the other stuff they're doing, there is so much potential to this. I love it. Ah, uh, This has been a good game. A good campaign. A good bonus to the campaign. Uh, I think I'm... You know, there's always so much of one game I can take at one time. And I think I've... I've, if there had been a bonus already there, like another section of campaign, I would have done it. I would have. But I think I'm done for now, otherwise. Since there isn't anything else, I don't feel like replaying the campaign. I don't feel like turning through my other campaign to get the last through the last huge chunk of it to the last half of the campaign, really, to get to this area, to get through those bonus missions, to get to that last choice. So, I am happy with the choice I made, really. Saving Mary Thrall human life saving as much as that as possible takes high priority with me usually in even in games like this i like to pr i like to save people where possible and yeah this has been great so i'm ending this episode here this series here maybe someday we'll we'll have more to add to it but for now this is the end so thank you all so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this hit like hit subscribe and keep coming back for more videos because I'm definitely going to do more games. Like, this is not the end of the channel by far. This is just the end of this series, obviously. Um, I hope to keep seeing you coming back for more stuff, more content. I've got a lot of stuff in the works, lots of stuff planned. So much I want to do. I've got a new laptop coming, so I'm hoping that... Actually, by the time you see this, it will probably have been here a while. So, yeah, with my new when I get my new laptop, I'll be able to do a whole lot more, I hope. Oh, so much good stuff in the future. And so many other things I've got to do. <sighs> well, bye!